have you uh, have you been watching anything these, these past, I uh, this past week? I watched I watched Anatomy of a Fall. Okay. Which I don't know that. But. Is uh one of the movies up for movie of the year. Oh, okay. Cool. And it is a French movie. It's not all in French, but there's a good amount of it that's in French. Okay. About basic premise. There's a wife, a husband, and their child, and the they live in a mountainous, uh, like the the Alps kind of part of uh, of France, mm-hmm. and uh, the husband is found dead in the snow outside okay. their house. Okay, and it's kind of a you know. It's it's it starts off as like a who did this? How did this happen? Did somebody do it? Did he do it to himself? And then there's like the family drama of it all, and then it turns kind of into a courtroom proce- procedural. And hmm. it was really good. It was okay. really it was really really good. I think whoever played the wife did a was like an incredible actress. Um, and the courtroom scenes are just like. I love courtroom scenes. They're just... (laughs) Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Courtroom dramas are my fucking shit. (laughs) And so it was great. It was a great movie. I don't know. I wouldn't say that... I would not... Me, personally, I would not give it movie of the year um, after seeing a lot of the other movies that we've seen. Mm -hmm. But it's... It is... It is... It's very well done. It's... It's quite French... Oh, okay. Like, it's interesting. Like, the last French movie I saw also dealt with something similar when you learn about it. And it's, it should, it deals with it in a very, like, French way that I don't know how to, like, talk okay. about without giving it away. But it's, sure, sure. it's a good one. It's a very good one. It's good. Nice, nice. Um, I also watch, oh my God, I finally watched Killers of the Flower Moon. Oh, okay. How'd you like it? And, it's so fucking good. Nice. It's nice. really good. I yeah. it was three and a half hours, and I right. swear to God, it did not feel like three and a half hours. Nice, nice. Okay. And I felt like that's what I, I was worried about. I honest. watched like I I really do. I felt like I got like my entertainment's worth. Like if I sat in a movie theater, I was like, that was worth the money. Like good, nice. Um. Very surprised that Leonardo DiCaprio did not get an acting nomination for this. I know yeah. that there's a lot of good, there's a lot of good actors up for it, but right. he he was really good. Robert De Niro. I don't know. After watching this, like I don't know if I would necessarily straight away give it to Robert Downey Jr. Anymore? Oh wow! Like best supporting actor. Okay. Like Robert De Niro what, was. Yeah. Amazing. What I hear though is that he, like Robert Downey Jr. has like a ninety eight percent chance to win, probably. But yeah, but he. Uh, yeah. It's it's crazy that people aren't talking more about Robert De Niro's performance because I think if you take Oppenheimer out, like this movie, the stack could, and yeah, and uh, uh, the woman who who plays his wife, uh, Lily. Uh, I, oh God, I'll look it up. Um, the actress she, is Lily Gladstone. Yeah, Lily Gladstone. She is. I don't. I don't. Honestly, the act, the actress's race is like stacked. I. She. She was incredible. Yeah. Like, nice. and the soundtrack was dope. Um. Uh, yeah, there's there's actors I had no idea that were in this fucking movie. There's also like a courtroom drama to it. Yeah. At at a point. Right. Um. And, and also, it's 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 very interesting because it's it is a mob movie mm. still. It's very okay. much still a mob movie, right? Um, Which is his bread and butter. But it's done very interestingly, and yeah. I believe that. Um, yeah, I I would without a doubt watch it again. It was really well done. It was really good. Nice, yeah. nice. Yeah, I, I I almost wish there was a a role for Joe Pesci in this one because that would have been. That would have been beautiful, but uh, yeah. no, I guess not. No. Nah. Um, and then lastly, yeah. I just I I I rewatched Spirited Away, and what more can I say about Spirited Away? It's just like it's a masterpiece. It's a classic. Nice. Um, it's just 
Yeah, it was just beautiful. Sounds like a good week of movies. Yeah, Damn. yeah. A little jealous. Um, well, yeah, so I I only watched, uh, let's see. I was, So, yeah, you heard me talk about the live action. I watched the first episode, and I, here's the thing. I, I, um, I rationalized this by, because I didn't want to support this at all. Um, so I knew, like, I knew our friend Jared was going to watch it. And so I like, basically I, I went over to their, their place and, and just watched it on their Netflix because like, I knew he was already going to. So I was like, all right, fine. This isn't, this isn't technically like a watch. So, um, but yeah, that was, that was rough to watch. Basically the first episode goes over like the first three live action or sorry, the first three original like episodes of the show um and they pretty much remove like every single arc that's in the southern water tribe which is pretty it's a pretty big bummer um i think they do that because they show so much of like ang as as an airbending kid and and like and then his, the, his southern air temple getting destroyed by the fire nation um but it's just like it's not worth it. Like none of that is done like like extraordinarily well. Um, the 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 action of the firebenders, you know, kind of decimating the airbenders isn't isn't great. It looks pretty cheesy at points. Um, and I don't know. I just think there's there are like clear moments from the show where you're like like from the original show where you're like that is such a badass shot and then they they recreate it in the live action and it's like like three times as worse than than the original so mm-hmm. um i i'm not a huge fan obviously i think you know and i get it like they're they're kids but like there are good kid actors and and katara and ang definitely fall short a lot um they definitely don't come off as as kid or, you know, as goofy, like as, as they were in the show. Um, they're definitely trying to make it more serious. Yeah. Um, there, there are, there are a couple cool moments visually, but I think the show just loses so much scale, you know, like there's, I think the, the original show is able to do and show more scale because it's, you know, they're able to draw it and animate it, but, Mm -hmm. but now they're, they're so limited to what's on screen that it just doesn't, doesn't work as well. So, yeah, that's um, that's my rant for Avatar, um, and I, you know, and I watched the the uh, like the first three episodes of the original right after, so that's why I have it so easily to compare. Um, but yeah, and then uh, finished uh, finished the season of Go On that I was watching. Mm-hmm. Um, that was it's a it's a great season, but definitely leaves you wanting wanting more seasons because it's not like the strongest of finales right um and then uh yeah i've watched watched a few more episodes of ted that's that's been fun uh i got two more two more episodes left of that and uh i think i think that's all i've watched i might be forgetting something but um yeah i think that's about it yeah just a good week of tv shows 